Hi, I'm Niall from Quick Crop, and today we're going to talk about different garlic varieties and what you should and shouldn't do. But the first question people always ask me is, what's the difference between hard neck garlic and soft neck garlic? And in a nutshell, it's very simple. Hard neck varieties don't store very well, but they taste that little bit better. Soft neck varieties store very well. So hard necks are going to be that little bit smaller, and soft necks are going to be that little bit bigger. And in the main, they still both taste really good. So we're going to start with Valileto, and as you can see, they're a really big bulb, and they give lovely, juicy cloves from them. Typically, they go into the ground October, November, December, for an earlier variety in the spring. So now we've got Provence, which as you can see is a really big bulb. Again, lovely juicy taste, but on this one just be careful. Much better if it's planted before Christmas. After Christmas you get much smaller bulbs from it. So we've now got Solon, which to be honest with you is my favourite. And look at the size of this, isn't it fantastic? Again, really tasty cloves from this. It's a soft neck garlic, can go in any time between October all the way through to March. Obviously, if they go in in March, they won't be quite as big, but they're still really, really good after Christmas. So another one of my favourites here, we've got elephant garlic. Believe it or not, these are cloves, not bulbs. Look at the size of them compared to a standard Provence clove. Now, they're not true garlic. It's actually from the leek family, but it tastes very, very like garlic, and they're great fun to grow. I'd suggest give these a go. So this is early purple. They're called early purple for the very reason that they go into the ground that little bit earlier at the latest, late November, and they're ready earlier in the season, early May, mid-May. And they taste very good, but they don't store very well. This is Tuscany garlic, which is, as you can see, a lot smaller. It's a hard neck variety. It goes into the ground December through to March. A really intense flavour from this. They're a lot smaller, but they're really, really nice. Okay, so this is Lautrec. This is the one all the chefs are after. It's the, the prize garlic of the pack. Now it is small, it doesn't store very well, but I'll tell you, give it a try, you won't regret it. Okay, so all you're going to need for planting your garlic is a dibber like this, which has a gradient and shows you the different depths, or your finger of course, and the cloves of garlic. That's it. Okay, a couple of tips to remember when you're planting garlic out. Use the bigger cloves that come out of the bulb. The bigger the cloves you use, the bigger the bulbs you're going to get. And on that point, always remember, the richer the soil you have and the more you've prepared it, the better the bulbs you're going to get as well. Garlic is traditionally planted from October right through till February. As you'll see, some varieties will go in earlier, some will go in later. Always when you're putting them in the ground, put the pointed end sticking up and the flat piece down into the ground. Using a dibber if you can, or your finger, approximately two to three inches deep is how you do it, and then pull back across. Spacing is roughly six inches apart, and I find the best thing is, after you've put all your garlic in, give it a good mulch and just forget about it for the winter. That's one of the greatest things about garlic. All right, folks, so we'll just finish with one really good tip of the day. I find in the kitchen when you're working with garlic, it gets really in under the skin and you can smell it on your hands all day. Here's a tip. When you're washing your hands under the water, put a stainless steel spoon in under the water when you're doing it at the same time and it neutralizes the smell. Don't ask me how it works, but it does.